Hi everyone, here is the video that um, helps you to revise the 25 idioms of the week that we learned in Term 4 this year. First one is, bite the bullet, to bite the bullet. This idiom means to decide to do something difficult or unpleasant that you have been putting off or hesitating about doing. So it just means to get the courage to do something that you didn't really want to do but you know you have to. For example, despite her fear of flying, she had to bite the bullet and board the plane for her dream vacation. He knew he had to bite the bullet and apologize for his mistake. I hate going to the dentist, but I'll just have to bite the bullet bite the bullet. Call it a day. Let's call it a day. We use this idiom when we want to stop what we are doing because we don't want to do it anymore or we've had enough. Call it a day. For example, after hours of studying I decided to call it a day and get some rest. The rain ruined our picnic plan, so we had to call it a day and head home. With all the technical issues, we had to call it a day and reschedule the meeting. Play it by ear. Play it by ear. This means to decide what to say or do in a situation by responding to events rather than by following a plan. So if you play something by ear, you just see how everything goes. You just go with the flow and don't make plans. For example, our project timeline is flexible so we can play it by ear and adjust as needed to meet our goals. Without a script, the actors had to play it by ear and improvise their lines. We didn't have a plan, so we had to play it by ear during our road trip. A chip off the old block. A chip off the old block. This means someone is very similar in character to their mother or father. So if someone is a chip off the old block, they're very similar to their mother or their father. A chip off the old block. For example, she inherited her mother's musical talent. She's a chip off the old block. Just like his dad, he's a chip off the old block when it comes to fixing things. The way she excels in maths, she's definitely a chip off the old block. get cold feet to get cold feet this means to feel too frightened to do something that you had planned to do to get cold feet to change your mind about doing something at the last minute that you had planned to do for example as the wedding day approached John started to get cold feet and wondered if he was making the right choice. When it was time to jump off the high dive at the pool, Tim got cold feet and climbed back down the ladder. I was going to try bungee jumping, but I got cold feet. A couch potato a couch potato. This just means a very lazy person who sits on a couch watching television all day or playing video games. So a couch potato is someone who is not active and sits in front of the television. For example, ever since my sister got a new gaming console she has turned into a complete couch potato. I used to be a couch potato, 
but I've started going to the gym. Instead of being a couch potato, let's go for a walk in the park. Face the music. To face the music. This means to accept criticism or punishment for something you have done. To accept criticism or punishment for something you have done. For example, when I realized I had made a mistake, I had to face the music and admit it. If she lied to me, then she'll just have to face the music. The children broke the window while playing and had to face the music when their parents returned home. Fit as a fiddle. Fit as a fiddle. If you are fit as a fiddle, it means you are very healthy and strong. You are in very good health. For example, despite her age, Grandma Mary is still as fit as a fiddle. Tom decided to start eating healthier to become as fit as a fiddle. I have completely recovered from my surgery and climbed the stairs to my fifth floor apartment. I feel as fit as a fiddle. Fly off the handle. To fly off the handle. This means to react in a very angry way to something that someone says or does. So basically, if you fly off the handle, it means that you lose your temper. You suddenly get angry. For example, he is extremely irritable. He flies off the handle at the slightest thing. When he heard the bad news, he flew off the handle and yelled at everyone in the room. I know you're frustrated, but there's no need to fly off the handle about it. Have your head in the clouds. To have your head in the clouds. This means to be daydreaming or absent-minded. Or be unaware of what is going on. To not be actively aware of your present situation. Have your head in the clouds. For example, don't have your head in the clouds during the important meeting. Stay focused. It's hard to get work done when you have your head in the clouds. He is not right for this job. He has his head in the clouds. Her heart's in the right place. Or his heart's in the right place. If you say that someone's heart is in the right place, you mean that they are kind, considerate and generous, although you may not like aspects of their character. His heart's in the right place. For example, the gift may not have been exactly what she wanted, but we appreciate that her heart was in the right place. The advice wasn't great, but her heart was in the right place. Even though he made mistakes, his heart's in the right place. Turn over a new leaf. To turn over a new leaf. This just means to change your behavior in a positive way. To change your behavior in a positive way. Turn over a new leaf. For example, after years of procrastination, Sarah decided to turn over a new leaf and start her fitness journey. Tom's commitment to turn over a new leaf led him to quit smoking and embrace a healthier lifestyle. Recognising the need for change, Emily resolved to turn over a new leaf and focus on positive relationships. In a nutshell. In a nutshell. This means a brief or short summary of something. Similar to long story short. In a nutshell.
For example, we've just got five minutes left, so does anyone want to give, up, give us their update in a nutshell? The professor explained the complex theory in a nutshell, making it easier for everyone to understand. In a nutshell, our vacation was relaxing, enjoyable and filled with unforgettable moments. To go in one ear and out the other. Go in one ear and out the other. If you say that something goes in one ear and out the other, you mean that someone pays no attention to what you said or forgets about it immediately. In one ear and out the other. For example, I tried to offer helpful advice but it seemed to go in one ear and out the other with my friend. No matter how many times I remind my son to clean his room, it just goes in one ear and out the other. As a teacher, it can be frustrating when you feel like your lessons are going in one ear and out the other. I'm on cloud nine. To be on cloud nine. If you're on cloud nine, it just means you are feeling extremely happy. To be on cloud nine. For example, after receiving the promotion, he was on cloud nine all day. After scoring the game winning goal, the entire team was on cloud nine. Graduating top of her class, Sarah was on cloud nine. Skating on thin ice. Skating on thin ice. This means to be doing something that is dangerous or involves risk. To be doing something that is dangerous and involves risks. Skating on thin ice, for example. I feel their decision to get married after meeting just a week ago is like skating on thin ice. Because of his explosive temper, you always feel like you are skating on thin ice when you're around him. Choosing to drive without a valid license is skating on thin ice. Goes over my head. It goes over my head. If something goes over your head, it means it is too difficult to understand. It's just too complex to go over my head. For example, I tried to take in what he was saying about nuclear fusion, but most of it went over my head. Most of that lecture went over my head. This is way over my head. Can you explain it more simply? Catch some Z's. Catch some Z's. This means to get some sleep or to have a nap. Catch some Z's. For example, after a long day at work, I can't wait to get home and catch some Z's. The soothing sound of rain outside made it easy for me to catch some Z's. It's essential to catch some Z's for a productive day ahead. Feeling blue. Feeling blue. This just means feeling sad. Feeling very unhappy. Feeling blue. For example, losing the game left him feeling blue. After the argument, she's feeling a bit blue. When plans get cancelled, I often feel blue. Throw in the towel. Throw in the towel. This means to stop trying to do something because you have realized that you cannot succeed. To stop trying to do something because you know that you won't succeed. Throw in the towel. For example, the maths homework was overwhelming and I was tempted to throw in the towel. 
trying to fix my bike became so frustrating that I was ready to throw in the towel. Sarah found learning a new language challenging, but she didn't want to throw in the towel just yet. Once in a blue moon. Once in a blue moon. This idiom means not very often or rarely. So if you do something once in a blue moon, it just means you don't do it very often. Once in a blue moon. For example, Sarah rarely eats dessert, but she enjoys a slice of cake once in a blue moon. Tom is not a fan of shopping, but he will buy clothes once in a blue moon when he really needs them. The whole family gets together for a reunion once in a blue moon, making it a special and cherished occasion. Keep your fingers crossed. Keep your fingers crossed. This just means to hope for luck or success in something. So if you keep your fingers crossed, you are hoping for success or luck in something. For example, our team is competing in the finals this weekend, so let's keep our fingers crossed for a victory. The exam results will be posted soon and I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I have a job interview tomorrow, so I'm hoping it goes well. Keep your fingers crossed. To be in hot water. To be in hot water. If someone is in hot water, they are in trouble because they have done something wrong. To be in hot water means to be in trouble because you have done something wrong. In hot water, for example. After forgetting to complete his homework for the third time this week, Jake knew he was in hot water with his teacher. When the supervisor discovered the error in the report, the entire team realised they were in hot water. She got herself in hot water with the authorities. Butter someone up. To butter someone up. This means to be very kind or friendly to someone, or to try and please them, so they will do what you want them to do. So if you butter someone up, you're nice to them, because you want them to do something for you. Butter someone up. For example, Jake needed a favour from his friend, so he started to butter him up with kind words. The employee tried to butter up the supervisor in hope of getting a day off. Mary decided to butter up her parents by doing extra chores before asking to borrow the car. Let the cat out of the bag. Let the cat out of the bag. This means to allow a secret to be known, usually without intending to. So if you let the cat out of the bag, it means you have let a secret be known unintentionally. To let the cat out of the bag, for example, Sarah accidentally let the cat out of the bag when she mentioned the surprise party to Mark. I didn't mean to let the cat out of the bag, but I was so excited about the upcoming changes. Please don't let the cat out of the bag about the new project until the official announcement.